Okay, I'm going to show y'all how to create a, uh, an export file from Excel that Google Earth will accept that will keep you from typing all this information that you've already got on your Excel file uh, in back into Google Earth to get your little push pins with the GPS data. Okay, so this is a um, spreadsheet typical spreadsheet y'all probably all have something similar to this it's got the district the road name the, the site number and the latitude and longitude which you typically would just have to all type back over into Google Earth which is very time consuming so the way to avoid that is create a column and insert a new column somewhere in your worksheet call it whatever you want to call it this will be the cell that contains the information that actually will show up on Google Earth when we're through with this. So I want mine to say the road name, the site number, and the latitude and longitude. So the way to do that without typing it all over again is go into the cell you created, first one, type in enter, I mean hit uh, the equal sign, then type in the word concatenate, concatenate, which I think I spelled it wrong. I think it just means join. Concatenate, and then you want to use open parentheses, which is required. It'll give you what the kind of the form is in here, but basically uh, it can get any of this information. You just got to put a call, uh, comma in between them. So the first thing we want to say is the road name. So I'll go over here, left click on my road uh, cell, which is Charlie 2, hit comma. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to do is say site, because I wanted to say the word site in front of the number one. So anything you type within uh, quotes, it will appear exactly as you type it. So I want to put quotation. I want to have a space. I want to type, right, to say the word site. I want to have another space. Close quotes, comma. Now I'm ready for the next piece of information, which is the site number, which is over here in Bravo 2 cell. Left click on it, put a comma in. Now in mine I want it to have a uh, the latitude and longitude in parentheses. So I will, I want to put a parentheses in there. I gotta hit quote, space, open parentheses, quote. I'm gonna put it exactly that way. Comma. Next piece of information is the latitude. Left click on it, put a comma in. Now I wanted to actually type a comma between my latitude and longitude, so I put parentheses, comma, space, that one parentheses quote, and then quote. Now there's another quote. Next piece of information is the longitude. I click it. Now I've got to close my, uh, my parentheses that opened right here, comma, quotation, Close parentheses, quotation. And the last piece of information is a close my parentheses for the formula. If I hit enter, it ought to work right. I hit enter. 960, site one. Yes, that looks fine. I don't want to do type all that in every once every time. So click on the cell, hover over the right corner, bottom right corner to your plus sign. Turn to a little plus sign. Left click and drag to the end of your spreadsheet where how many roads you got in here and they're all in here that looks good now we got to get it into a format that Google Earth will accept and that accepts comma separated uh, information so we need to tell it file we want to save it as a comma separated so type in the name you want to call it let's call it uh, Google Earth test okay and if yours doesn't have CSV here go over here to the right find it in your Excel it's right here CSV okay that looks good I want to save it to my desktop Google Earth test save that's okay that's okay All right, now let's get Google Earth going get that information in there so here's Google Earth uh, I'm going to go File, 
import. I'm going to find that file on my desktop, which was called Google Earth Test. I'm going to open it up. And this is, should be, you shouldn't have to do anything here. This just is where Google Earth says, yeah, well, you, got, you know you've got a comma separated spreadsheet that's got all this stuff on it. Yes, that's okay. Hit next. Now it wants to know where your, what's the name of the column that where your latitude and longitude is. So click this drop down. My start latitude, or my latitude was in start lat and my longitude was in start longitude. Yes, that looks fine. Yes, that looks fine. Do you want to, uh, yes, you want to apply a template. Let's create a new template. Okay, now this is where you tell it what's the name of the field that it's got the name in it as you want it to appear on Google. Uh, we called it map name. Now what color the icon do we want? I want a I want yellow. Okay. And what kind of icon do I want? I'll click this. I'm going to go up here and get this green icon right here. Okay. This is where you, it wants to know do you want to save that template that you just did. I would do that because you'll need it next time. Keep from typing it back in. Now where's my where's my stuff? It's not here, but it's because we haven't turned it on. Google Earth test. Turn it on here. Now here's my sites we just put in there. Uh, they're kind of I can't hardly see those, right? Well, I'll just you can rotate Google Earth around where you can read them all on one map. Y'all know how to do that. So there's my sites. You can zoom in or whatever and print it any way you want to. So you didn't have to enter anything. All your data's in there. Any questions? Just holler at me. Hope it helps.